Tyro and BSB. Today I'm just going to show you how to get your dog to jump up on the ute and we're going to do a, talk about a little bit of safety on the back of the ute for your hound. Alright? So, firstly, safety, clipping a dog up. You see a lot of dogs get hung or their back legs get snapped or backs are broken or getting kicked off the ute because people don't know where to put their leads. Alright? You want your dog to be able to see out the side if you're going pigging, but at the same time, you want it to be safe. This is a quick release collar. I always try to measure up. So, what I'm going to do you want to measure it. So, with a collar, when you've got a dog on a collar, the dog's going to pull as far as he can. So, he's still going to be able to see out there, out the side. Right, so you want to make sure the dog's not going to hang or get hung up. Okay, so that length there has a safety issue. He's not going to, if he falls, well, he shouldn't fall because he can't get too close to the site, but you can still see in front with his head. Okay, and that is safety on the back of the ears. Alrighty guys, so the main thing out of jumping, getting your dogs to jump on the back of the ute is obviously they need to listen to you. These dogs can sit, come, do the, ba the main basics. But you also need, if you've got a tray back, so patrol, cruiser, um, Mazda, all those utes with a tray, there's going to come with different sizes. But obviously you need to start with a dog that can jump, or if you don't have a dog that can jump, learn a treat system or a prey system which ideally the prey system is the way to go because the prey system you they're interacting with you and you're not, not thinking of you as food you want the whole interaction of praise to be the way to go so interaction with freight and praise but these guys dogs aren't too stressed about food they're more worried about the pats so they they will listen to anything you want to do with jumping coming sitting all that okay right guys so really step one of getting a dog on the back of the ute is really teaching it from low to high either putting yourself up there encouraging the dog to get to you or putting food treats systems that kind of way i would rather do the low gutter with an older dog and teaching the dog with confidence most dogs will do it themselves with an older dog showing them but obviously you wouldn't expect them to jump on a Land Cruiser straight away. They'd obviously jump on something lower, like a Suzuki Sierra, all right? So a little dog like Uber here would take a little bit of confidence. And she saw Clint jump up there. We'll see if we can get her down again and do it to itself. As you can see, the other dogs are psyching her out a little bit, but she can do it, okay? So her next step would obviously, you wouldn't go any higher for her, but for a Kelpie or a Catacoola or an Arab, you'd go up, the next step would be a hikes, but it takes time, you get them practice. So that, she would be doing that all the time, she'd go up from there. The next step, for example, would be for a pup, so if you're training pup to teach the jump on the back of the ear, is to jump with the sides down, okay? So a Hilux with the side down is a lot lower than a cruiser, so you go up from there. So ideally, same method again, practice for the dog. Older dog jumping up first, or treats, and really encouraging the dog to do it. Here, by the end they should, just be, able to, they should be able to do that quite simple. So the next step is teaching them to jump in a crate or something like that. So obviously you've got a couple of dogs in the crate, it's quite hard for the dog to step. The idea, you want to put your body position in the right spot. So if I can get up, now Clint will get up. Get up. Your body position helps where you want the dog to jump, okay? If I sat, stood here, I'd expect the dog to jump in the crate, no dramas. But if I stood here and put my head, the dog is obviously seeing my body language going up to the back of the ute. 
okay? So it's very, it's, dogs are very simple. You've just got to understand how they work. These dogs do it all the time. They love sitting on the back of the ute. We'll sit on the back of the ute most of the day if we could, okay? So somewhere where Ubu, who doesn't have much to do with a car or a ute, teaching her small, with most pups that you do, start with small and work your way up. To rephrase, small to big. Go from uh, Hilux beside a gutter or a cruiser beside a gutter. So you're getting a small jump and the dog's growing confidence. And as the dog grows confidence, you go to a higher each step. So this is obviously the highest you'd get would be front of my These dogs can jump higher, no doubt. My understanding, my belief with jumping a dog is starting off small, giving you a pat each time, and working your way all the way up. Thanks guys.